TFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 4 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday as we reach that closing bell and markets finishing barely in the red. Dow Jones negative 29 points as we come into that closing bell, trading 26,382. S&P is negative by 1.8 points, barely negative, trading at 29.05. NASDAQ negative by 8 points, again, one-tenth of, one -tenth of 8 percent in the negative. NASDAQ trading 79.76, and Russell actually negative by 6 points. That's four-tenths of a percent, trading at 15.78. So we finish up the day, checking in on the VIX. Market clawed back most of the losses we had earlier in the day. The VIX trading to lower territory, as you would expect, 12.36. Jumping over to some of the futures markets as we ring in that closing bell. We'll start it off with the Dow. Dow early this morning, 26,472. We finish almost 100 points below that level, 26,385 in the Dow. NASDAQ 100, quite a, quite a day in terms of lows of 7,600, basically. We made it to 75,99 briefly, but we clawed back all of those early losses to basically settle right where we were coming into the opening bell on the NASDAQ 100, 76.51. We'll jump over to Amazon stock in a moment. You check that out. That probably had a big effect on it in terms of the downward and then the reversal it had in the middle of the day. S&P's 29.09 currently. Excuse me, crude oil, 63.64. Reversed its downfall through most of the day as well. Gold contract, Accelerated from about 9.30 this morning, 12.85, currently trading at 12.90, and euro US dollar trading 113.04. So, as I was just jumping around to get ready for this top of the hour update, jumping around to some of those FANG stocks and check out Amazon. The, the morning, not so kind. The afternoon, very kind. Amazon trades all the way from 18.41 down to 18.18. .18. <coughs> Excuse me, and claws back all of those to 1843.33. Quite a number. We had Goldman Sachs with their earnings early this morning. Didn't claw back anything as they finished basically at session lows, 244. You had Citibank out with their earnings as well. Just finished barely in the negative. Not bad in terms of where they were earlier in the day. And we get Bank of America tomorrow. They were down 1.2%. We also get Netflix tomorrow. That's what had me going around those FANG stocks, down 1.2%. And uh, we get Morgan Stanley on Wednesday to finish up those banks down 1.4% today. Stay tuned, folks. We got Dave White coming up for the second hour live of the Tom O'Brien Show from 4 till 5. Stay tuned. Dave White coming up right now.